guys. I am making my morning coffee. And I thought I would shoot a video this morning. I've had a lazy morning so far. Um, you, do you need, you can come over here and make your coffee. You're fine. Sweet, my hands go make his coffee. Say good morning. Good morning. <laughs> I'll come over here to get out of his way while I'll wait for my water to boil. Um, or, well, not boil. You don't make coffee with boiling water. You make it with slightly less than boiling water. Um, so this is actually, the grounds in here are our new Ethiopian coffee beans that we're running from Beulah. So we still have the Guatemalan. We're maintaining that relationship, but we want to branch out so we can have other regions. and. It's taken a little while, but we've established another farm direct relationship with a family um, that has this farm in Ethiopia. And it's interesting because we get these beans in and we have to like nail down what the roast is gonna be. So we're doing roasts that are still really good, but they aren't quite it, like what we wanna settle on. This, what I'm drinking this morning, is what we nailed out. This is the excellent stuff. But for the last couple weeks, it's still been excellent. It's still been better than most any coffee, but we want it to be the absolute best the coffee can be. So I've been drinking the Ethiopian coffee for the last couple weeks, I guess week and a half, since I came in like right before my birthday. But when we test roast, I mean, it's still fantastic coffee. We're not gonna waste it, so. <laughs> but we can't sell it because it's not our like dialed in roast. Anyway, um, this is, I just had a small amount of what we, are going to be making available for sale. I think it'll be up next month. It's so good. What are you brewing this morning? What's in your hopper? Uh, that's the Guatemalan. Guatemalan medium. medium. Medium, that's what I figured you liked. It's my fave. Yeah. So today is December 23rd, Saturday. You'll see this video today. I plan on putting it up. And uh, my kids refer to today as Christmas Adam because Adam came before Eve and tomorrow's Christmas Eve. I don't have like a busy, busy day today, but I do have some things that I have to get done. Namely, finishing a couple of food items that I'm going to be dropping off in baskets at people's house. What are you doing today? Oh, I set my goal to have the tree house finished before Christmas so it didn't turn into a two year, two year Christmas present. So I've got to finish up some small details today and then I'm gonna get some footage for that last video of the kids wearing the GoPro and like running around on the treehouse so that's my goal for the day. Cool. I'll be baking. Baking? Mm -hmm. I'll pray for you. <laughs> so not a baker. Um, it's not that I can't bake it's just hard when you can't work on paying attention to tasks. The baking is just Attention really matters in that one. With cooking, there's a little bit of grace. I've actually got to make some loaves of bread today to go in a few few Christmas baskets that I'm delivering. Um, I've been putting together baskets that are just like things that I've canned. Um, some from the summer garden, like relishes and peppers and stuff like that. And then um, like tomato chow and then some jams and jellies. And I love doing this because it kind of like it gives me an opportunity to kind of share the work from the year. It's cool because like be during peach season, I made the peach, the spice peach jam. And during obviously tomato season, I did the tomato chow and then the peppers and a couple of things that I've done for baskets this year, which I really have liked. First, I made my dad's Chex Mix. I think it originated as my Aunt Anne's Chex Mix, but my dad kind of like perfected the process in his way and kind of told me all his tips and tricks. Um, I made it myself for the first time this year. Maybe I'll share it next year on a video or something like that. I will upload the recipe and put it below if you guys want to try it. I, I tweaked mine. Um, this one has gluten stuff in it. I made some that was gluten-free that had like gluten-free pretzels and I didn't put the right chips and I didn't use wheat checks. So that was cool. Uh, the other thing that's been a little touch on top of the canned stuff, which of course we have our loose leaf teas. And if I know somebody's like comfortable with loose leaf teas, I can give those. But I got some like holiday tea bags. Um, and I've been putting, I'll take like a pint mason jar. Well, I don't have any in here because I've, I've given them all away in baskets. But, um, oh, thank you. There we go. I did bring some more in here. So like a pint mason jar. And I'll put 
some sugar cubes in the bottom, like, you know, this many. And then I'll stick some tea bags down in here. And then some dried lemons, which I have here, like dehydrated lemons in here. And then a few cinnamon sticks so that people can just take a tea bag and put a couple cubes of sugar in it, pour the water in with the lemon and the cinnamon stick and make like a kind of little spiced cup of tea. I thought that was cool and it seems to be being enjoyed. Plus it's a cute presentation to have it all in a mason jar. All right, coffee's done. I'm actually gonna start some bread before I head outside. Fresh baked bread just makes such a great gift, especially since so many people don't know how to make it, honestly. <laughs> if it were completely normal, I think it would probably still be a good gift because it's a task you wouldn't have to do yourself. But because people are just so unaccustomed to having fresh fresh baked bread, the novelty of it is, is still really big. So I'm gonna start this dough before I head outside. I'm gonna harvest some things that to work on. I figured we would go pop in and take a look at our new baby calf um, and update you guys on her. What do you see? The countdown? Mm -hmm. What is today? Christmas Adam. Christmas Adam. <laughs> so one good thing about doing the farmer's table has been that I have been forced to sit down and type out my recipes. I've got them all over the place and it's making some organization for me and since I have them all on a Google Drive where I've been sharing them, I can easily pull up my own recipes on my phone in my Google Drive and it's been really convenient. So <laughs> um, I do have a video on my cooking channel, The Farmer's Table, about this bread recipe, um, if you guys want. It really is the very best. So, I'm gonna get the stove started, and then we're gonna go outside. Are you, what are you saying about me? You're like, yeah, you too. <laughs> Mom talks with her hands, huh? You know what I think that's from? I think that's from doing sign language whenever I was really little. Because my mom's best friend's son was deaf, and so I learned sign language some. I don't know a lot now when I was little, but I have always been a very animated talker, and I think it's because I signed a lot when I was little. <laughs> Are you excited for fancy Christmas dinner? Uh, but yeah. I thought it was coming today. Yep, yeah, Harley will be here today. Are you excited for that? When is she? Is she coming to our house? I don't know. Maybe. Getting flour everywhere. Today I'm trying something, um, I, I usually make this which is all-purpose flour and today I've actually mixed it half all-purpose and half whole wheat because I'm wanting to get into grinding my own, own flour. I used to grind my own flour back whenever I first started cooking from scratch and I would do it in like a Vitamix blender and I'd gotten okay at it but you know you definitely do have to change things and at some point the blender canister had gotten cracked and I kind of got out of the habit of it but um, right now I've been buying like flour that's whole grain that is more freshly ground from a smaller mill and experimenting with how it works on things so that's kind of what I'm doing today and hopefully it turns out well because I'm really wanting to put these loaves of bread in some baskets. William are you snuggled up on the couch you little cutie? Why are you so cute? You hear me talking about that tea and get a hankering? Yeah. Yeah. You got your strainer in there with the tea in it? Um. You want to put the, the sugar underneath it? Yeah. You want to put the cinnamon stick in? Here's a lemon. Put that in. There you go. I'll Did pour the water. Do we take all the stuff out after? Um, I like to drink it with it in there. Okay. Makes it kind of nice. And I mean, you take the strainer out here. I'll pour it. This is... There you go. All right. Dough's going in here to rise, and then I'm going outside. Can you wash your hands first, please? Oh, I like dough. I've already oiled the bowl. If you just want to pull the dough out and put it into the bowl. It's already fully kneaded. Tanta. Tanta. Yeah, but I got it. 
You got it? Yeah, it's pretty heavy. My dad's just sticking to the other bowl. Yeah. Let's see. I got it. You I got, got it? Got it. Yeah. This one. Now get the others. There you go. Stick it in there and now let's uh, put it all together so it's good and greased. And then... Okay, hey, can you grab that wet that wet towel I just brought over and cover up this bowl so it can rise? Cover Thank up. You. Yeah. Nice towel. And put it up. Very good. Now push it to the middle to make sure one of our paper caps does it not my fancy ball off the camera. Thank you. So it's actually not as cold out here as I thought it was going to be. Yeah. It's been really cold the last few days. What do y'all have right here? Your new addition to play with on the farm. Treehouse. The treehouse, but what is this? A zip line. A zip line. Yeah. Spencer went on the zip line. He did. Yeah. I think your dad is cool. Yeah. So Maya built the kids the treehouse last year and that was their Christmas gift. And his intention last year had been to like fully finish it out. He didn't get that far. He got it fully finished. So they were able to play on it. Um, he got the, the structure finished. But now he has like decked the thing out. Um, it's pretty cool. He's been shooting videos of it. And he's going to be uploading those. I think just he's hoping to get them up here pretty soon. I think he has three videos shot of the process. Let's come over here and see our little baby who officially has a name now. Carol. Carol. Jeremiah named her. Oh, she's our Christmas Carol. Carol of the Bells. Carol of the Bells. That's her. Look at her. She's so cute. Oh, hey, Helen. What's up, girly? I seen Helen be a bit aggressive. Um, Helen's not super aggressive. She's just the dominant one, so she pushes the other girls around a little bit. She's the oldest of these. No, Hope's out in the main pasture. Hope's the oldest of all of them, but Helen's the oldest of this group. Who's this? That's Fern. Who's Fern? Fern likes me. Yeah, there's Freya, who just had Christmas Carol. Look at her. Fern? She's so cute. Fern uh, once came up and sniffed my butt. Oh, I was on it. No. <laughs> Such a sweet baby. Hey, little love. Hi, girl. She's so cute. Hey, he's a fair <laughs> friend. Yeah. Where's Delmer? Delmer's out in the pasture. There's a little pasture rooster right there. And here are the ewes. Hey, ladies. I was noticing this one is starting to bag up a little bit, maybe. I don't know. They've lambed before, so. Ramona. Ramona and Tilly are in the in the pen with um, Abel, Which so one? they can have Where babies. Are these, ones named? these don't have names. I honestly can't tell them apart, so I haven't named them. Um, oh, I know what this. That one's five oh five. Yeah, they have numbers on them, so we could name them. I named that one. Is she actually, nope, she don't. Um, well, they just need to get used to you. So that one, the 505, they have to be like cartoony names, like Tilly and Ramona, they're cartoony names. You think Tilly and Ramona sound like cartoony names? Yeah, because Tilly's from um, Greek, the Greens. She? They're all girls, yes. They're, they're all mamas. She? You can think about it. You don't have to choose right now. If you pick four names, we can write them down and then we can come out, we can choose who gets each name and we'll write it down and keep it next to their number till we can remember. Look at this girl sunbathing over here. She's just turning her face up to the sun looking happy as can be. A couple of them are a little bit more open to being handled than others. Hey Ben, stand up please. No, it's fine. I just don't want you to be unaware that there's a cow coming up behind you. It's fine to crouch around them, but you just need to be aware when they're close to you. A cow in heat will jump on a farmer's back. Um, so you don't put your guard down around them, even when they're sweet. It's, it's best to be very aware. So here's Tilly and Ramona. They're spending three weeks in with Abel um, before he goes out in a way. Abel, I pet Abel. You pet him. Tilly and Ramona have been less shy. Yeah. 
So I can tell Tilly and Ramona apart when they're standing next to each other because because t Ramona is bigger than Tilly. Yeah, because Ramona is a big girl. This one's Ramona. Yep. And there's ah! April. It looks like all the farm animals just want your attention, Ben. This. There's this cool clubhouse. The rope wall, the slide. I actually don't need this jacket. It's, it's not like hot out here, but it's not super cold. Right. Are you going to be okay in short sleeves? Yeah. If you get chilly, you can always put it back on. I'm just putting it off to go down the slide. Oh, okay. Ben's going to demonstrate the slide for you guys. It's a very fast slide. <laughs> Ready? You want to go to the greenhouse with me or are you going to play back here? I want to go to the greenhouse. You coming with me? Okay. We are going to harvest, finally, my purple cauliflower that I've been literally checking on daily for weeks, uh, hoping that they would get as big as possible before I can pick them to pickle for Malia. But if I don't pickle them now, they're not going to be ready to eat in time for when she gets here. So it's my final day. Um, I'm let them grow as much as I can. Yeah, Malia likes pickled veggies. Hey, Kenny. I like pickled veggies too. Look at the birds come. <laughs> They're like, feed me, Seymour. Well, can I pickled okra? Pickled okra? I've got pickled okra. It's in the pantry. Can I have pickled okra? You can. All right, so I'm thinking we'll pick for sure these really big ones that like the plants. Yeah, you want to do that one? Push the bit back. Grab the head and twist. Let me know if you want me to do it, but you're welcome to try. Wow. I don't think I put back in. Do you want me to give it an, an initial twist to break it, or do you want to do it yourself? Um. Well, you're getting close. Why is it so hard? Got to grow strong so that critters don't come get it. Well, yeah. It's trying to protect itself. You're getting it. Keep twisting. You can do it. I just wanna. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Grab the other one. Can we get this one? How do I do it? Yeah. Brute um, strength and sheer determination. <laughs> oh, this is getting heavy. I'll put it out in the car. I actually may have let that one go just a touch too long. Got a little bit of a slimy bits on the bottom, it's fun. Still lots of usable. Now we There's a few more cauliflowers I'm gonna get. Come back here. You know, this one actually looks still in good shape. Let's go process those other three since these still look good and um, make sure that we can use them all. What'd you say? Is this so majestic? It's so majestic in this place, I agree. Feels nice. Have you seen, have you been in the other greenhouse in the last week or so? No, not really. No, not really. Let's go look at it. It looks awesome. Now we're not going to put rocks in this one. Doesn't it look great? So much lovely life. I bet Newt would be appreciative if you grabbed her a few leaves of kale. Where's the kale? Right here. That's probably good. She's got some bugs in there too. Little brothers are looking after Jackson's bearded dragon for him while he's in Arkansas for Christmas. So they've been doing a great job. Now where are we going? Back to the house. Okay. My bread dough is probably rising and 
I'm gonna get to work breaking up this cauliflower so I can make a good pickled mix. Hey, can you grab can you grab one of these heads of cauliflower or those two smaller ones? Okay. All right, thanks, sir. All right, guys. I think that's gonna be it as far as video making for me today. Um, I've got to get to work. Quit, quit hemming and hawing, as they say. <laughs> Thank you for hanging out with me today. I hope you have a beautiful Christmas. I bless you guys. Until next time.